What is God really like? Part seven. Hey everybody, my name is Amy Brown and welcome back to Root in the Word. And so we've been going through this long series talking about the characteristics or attributes of God. And today this is part seven and we're going to be talking about how God is omnipresent. And so for us, you know, our bodies, they limit us and we can only be in one place at one time. But God doesn't have a physical body. He is a spirit, at least the Father, Holy Spirit. He's a spirit and he's able to be everywhere, fully present, every place and at every time, right? And omni, omni means all, limitless, limitless. And so our God is not just really big, he is uncontainable. First Kings 8.27 says, but will God really dwell on earth? The heavens, even the highest earth cannot contain you. How much less the temple I have built. So God, God is always present, but you know, we're not always aware of his presence. Sometimes he makes himself known and sometimes not, you know, but whether we feel him or not, we can be well assured. We can rest assured that he is with us. Like Acts 17, 27 says, he is not far from any of us. And so one of the most exciting things that I cannot wait for heaven is to experience, you know, experience his overwhelming presence to the fullest capacity. And when Deuteronomy 31, eight says, the Lord himself goes before you and he will be with you. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. And so we can find comfort in the fact that no matter what we're going through, God is with you. And that verse, Deuteronomy 31, eight, that's a verse that you should memorize and you should meditate on. If you ever feel alone, pray that verse. God, he is always with you. And so this week, I just encourage you to seek after God's presence. He is with you right now, even if you can't feel him, but just seek after his presence. All right. Have a blessed week. Bye.